Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you got a cup of coffee or something that you enjoy to enjoy on this video because we hope you enjoy the video today. Uh, Cassie and I are gonna be heading to Bartlesville in just a little bit. Uh, it's bright and early. Well, not really bright. The sun's not coming up. It's kind of cloudy, but it's early. And I'm gonna get the day started by heading out here and checking on my chick. I only have one at this point, but uh, we're waiting a couple more days on the eggs to see if they hatch and today's a big day I don't know if you can still see under that carport over there, but that minivan will no longer be in videos uh, There should be something else in the video soon. So today we're, we're gonna bring you along as we've done something We've never done before and you'll just have to wait and see what that is. But first things first Let's check on the brooder All right, I don't hear any chirping you in there, baby? Oh, let's see. I have to climb in here. Oh, look. Still doing good. All right, well, we only have one, and I've given these chicks a day, maybe two days to uh, do their thing. So I'm not gonna tell Cassie this, I'm just gonna surprise her. But after we get done doing the things we have to do in Bartlesville, I might just see if I can hit up like a local tractor supply or Atwoods. I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. And getting some baby chicks. I'm usually not worried about the donkeys, but last night for the first time uh, when we got home from family game night at church, uh, Faith had found her way out of the pen. And I think it was a gap in the panel between the barn and the panel. But I want to make sure, hey Faith, I want to make sure little Faith stays in and there's no issues there. So, oh guys, look, did we get a little bit of rain last night? Looks like we may have got some rain. I want to dump this out. All right, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, June. Watch out, Mama June. Come here, Faith. I always sit down right here and see if she'll come up to me. I don't do anything. Oh, of course she's coming up to eat feed, but <laughs> look, at her. look at her. She's pushing into me. She loves to be petted and she, she gets as close as she can and then she nudges you. She pushes into you. A lot of times she'll put her head on my lap and just lay her head down. So, wagging her tail. She is the sweetest girl. Yeah. All right, I don't have time to play with you this morning, Faith. I still have to pump water and I only have, I know, I'm sorry. I only have about 15 minutes. So, oh, she's feeling good. So we have been blessed with some cooler weather this morning. It's in the 70s, probably it's so, so good. I'm so ready for fall. Uh, I know that means winter's coming soon, but I'm still ready. And we really need some rain. And that might come later today. Uh, if, we're, if we get it, I'm gonna be really happy. I don't care, it can rain today. It can rain today, Bella. It can rain today, it's okay. Yeah. Last thing we gotta do. I want that stock tank to the very, very top. That's what I want. I love to see it high. And I always try to kill two birds with one stone while I'm waiting for the stock tank to fill up. I don't waste any time. I uh, grab a, a trash bag if I have one ready to go. Walk down here to my trash barrels and uh, Put the trash bag in. All right, Cassie, you know what I got you? Just look out the window. You like it? Yeah, it looks like an amazing daily driver with three kids. Oh, yeah, that's what we need. That's what the. Uh, Let's just get this one. That's what every farm. I'll be like Ed. That's what every. Which I would if I didn't have three kids. That's what every farm wife dreams of, a Ford Dually, right? 
No, sorry, we're not. That means I gotta park in the North 40. We're going past the. Ooh, I don't like those Wagoneers. Oh. Well, now's the time because we're pulling in to the Honda dealership. Big surprise. As faithful will ever be to Honda. <laughs> Something about it when. Fronts look the same now. Oh. All right. Well, we're here. Let's go see what we can do. Yeah, we drove one on vacation, remember? God, I hated it. <laughs> it didn't look that cool, though. Yeah. Did it? Probably not. Probably didn't look that cool. That might be something. Well, the color you like, right? Well, it's a sad day. She took us through how many states, Cassie? 34. 34 different states and did our family very well. And somebody's gonna be the proud owner of a well-used Honda Odyssey. And hopefully it'll serve them a lot of miles to come. She didn't go through all those states. We flew to some of them. Oh, I know, but she, she did good. She did us right. Yep. And now let's hope this one's just as good better be <laughs> well it's on i'm not too worried about it so we'll video a little bit more at home to give you guys a tour just this is kind of a big deal to us just because we've never had a new vehicle before a brand new one um, well, we said we wouldn't here we are well things have changed the pricing of, of new cars especially hondas and toyotas you pretty much don't get a big discount they don't lose 20 percent of their value the day you drive them off like well, some vehicles do that van still is still worth a lot of money like it holds its value that's why we one why we drive hondas hold their value very little car trouble um so we decided to trade that in while it's still worth something instead of driving the wheels off and this one should last me until ranger gets through the house which doesn't seem even possible then maybe i can drive something that i actually want to be driving so this might be cassie's last minivan so so we're going out with a bang yes the <laughs> minivan is the thing if you have more than two kids even if maybe if you had two kids i already put my sunglasses i was double checking making sure cassie got her sunglasses so the minivan honda minivan hands down best mom car but when we get back to two kids might be driving something else just have to wait and see so. i mean two kids riding with me every day when ranger starts driving or doing his own thing or whatever we'll see all right the question is will it start <laughs> yeah we didn't even test drive. we haven't test drove this car <laughs> but it's under warranty so guess what we assume it's going to work and you want to try the phone charger out yeah so, well i don't know if it'll work with my case but supposedly it won't work with my case oh cassie's got a weird case but oh, it has a magnet on it hang on Hang on, let me put mine down. Well, oh yeah, it's working. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ready? Yeah. So it's switched. There it goes. So it's charging yep. my phone. So it's charging. So wireless charger. All right. Well, we're gonna figure out the electronic details. Which but, well, the great thing about this is, other than some minor technology upgrade, everything is what we've always had. Now this looks. The screen looks different, but it's the screen I've always had. It's the AC I've always had. That looks different, and it's kind of cool. It shows who's buckled, which the back two are buckled because they have them buckled for some reason. Yeah. So but I just buckled. Look, unbuckled. Shows you who all is buckled in your car. Yeah, that's awesome for our kids. And because uh, sometimes I say, "Are you buckled?" We uh, we are really used to the, this Honda, this like gauge cluster or whatever because we've drove it for three years over there and we actually love it. That, yeah, that they've changed that a little bit too. But. but it has like lane keep assist. Anyway, it's got all the things we're used to. So one reason we upgraded now is before they changed all this on a different model, we wanted it. So, all right, we're gonna head back towards Locust Grove. All right, I was lying. I said we we're going to Locust Grove, but we're really going to tractor supply. All right, Cassie. I think we have room in the back of the Honda. What do you think? Definitely. <laughs> Maybe not quite that big. We might get some chickens, but I don't know if they're going to be that big. I think I'm good. Well, if Tractor Supply doesn't want our business, guess what? 
Atwoods to the rescue. Atwoods is gonna get it today because I have a lonely chick at home and Cassie is going big today or going home. Hey, there's one thing Tractor Supply does not have and that is lunch. fresh popcorn. Well, we're gonna go eat lunch in a minute, but you I'm gotta get maybe you. Maybe you're gonna make this be my lunch. I don't know. This is our snack, it's warm up. That was mine. Oh, that one's mine, thank you. I've got, somebody's got a video around here. All right, Cassie's over there checking everything out, but over here they have ducks. No ducks for us, we already have ducks. And they have guineas, including white guineas. So, no guineas for us either. But, the variety of chickens today. I'm gonna get someone to help us. Okay, Cassie's gonna grab somebody. They have uh, bantams, no bantams. And then, let's see, Easter eggers, which we are gonna go for the Easter eggers because the other option is Rhode Island Red. And we already have Rhode Island Red. And you guys know we love colorful eggs. So I think we're gonna get about six of these guys to take home to join our lone chick. So it's not all by itself. All right, they're gonna be coming home. All right, Cassie picked out six hens. All right, Cass? <laughs> I don't very, know if I'm that lucky. Very low confidence, <laughs> but we'll find out. Dang. Time they will tell. Stay here. So, as much as we might ooh and all over getting a new van, Cassie, guess what? It's still just a van. <laughs> and guess what it's going to hold today? Uh, baby chicks. And a bag of feed. I have to these up front with me. You can put them wherever. I want to put the bag of feed back here. All right. The van is officially broken in as a farm wagon. Has its first uh, livestock inside and our first bag of feed in the back. Somebody doesn't know we have a new van. Shelby. It's okay, girl. It's just us. Yeah. She saw the camera come out the window. She's like, oh, it's them, but they're just back in a different vehicle. <laughs> it sounds the same. So if you're wondering why we keep going back to this van, 31.1 miles per gallon is what we averaged on the way home. Yep, and why I won't drive a Suburban. <laughs> there are, it's hard to beat to haul eight passengers and get 31 miles per gallon. And let's count the cup holders real quick. There's one right there. If you're sitting in the back seat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen cup holders. Let's <laughs> count the two there. Yeah, I think I counted them. Oh, brother says. The three here. Is that all? Yeah, I counted Almost those three. Forgot about your chicks. Time to put the chicks up. Hey, come look back here. Did you find some more cup holders? Every now and then we get a goofy comment about how we stole Weezer, I think it is, uh, logo. Well, first of all, it's our cattle brand that is... Um, registered with the yeah, state of Oklahoma. Registered with the Oklahoma Cattlemen Association. Hey, this isn't food. Look, they stole our logo. Thieves. <laughs> but I told Gary when we stopped a while ago, I was like, look, the logo. There's a plate on the front. And I was like, the logo is similar. But sorry, guys. Gotta go. Yes. So if you are looking, though, for, we're not, we're not sponsored. They're not sponsoring us. But if you are looking for <laughs> Darn, <they're not> sponsoring. <laughs> a Honda in the Northeast Oklahoma area, Skyway did a great job. We, we like Don Carlton for service. They do a good job in Tulsa. But um, Skyway in Bartlesville beat them on price uh, by quite a bit. So that is why we went all the way to Bartlesville. And we're home and going to get these chicks put up now. Yeah, I got to get to school. So Cassie's leaving me already. She got a new car. And now she says, I'm not good enough for her. She's going to hit the road. I'm going to put my accessories in the door. A knife, a 
pin that looks like an arrow. <laughs> Don't mess with Cassie. <laughs> even even her ink oh, pins. Even her ink pins look like weapons. Terry, before you go, you want to hold this for me? Hang on, I gotta put your fingernail clippers on here. So, I'm gonna pick it up. Ready? Pull it up to the bottom. There we go. All right. Love you. Love you. Have a good day. Oh. You're taking Mazzy to violin? Yes. I'm taking Mazzy to violin. So we don't have a dead body in the trash bag. The third or eighth seat, um, <laughs> middle of the second row, only gets used when we have to have it. So the rest of the time, we take it out and we put it in the shop because it allows the kids to walk to the back. It gives them an alleyway to walk. And we don't want it to get all dirty and nasty, so it goes in the black trash bag and goes in the shop. All right, Cassie's really leaving now. And I'm gonna go get um, these chicks put away out in the brooder. And But we aren't showing you our new car to brag. We're trying to share with you guys what works for us, um, a family, of five does really well in a minivan and uh we are uh happy about getting a new car though we have never owned cassie and i have been married uh 16 years 17 years we have never owned a new car in our entire life this is the first time ever that we owned a new car and uh we've told you before about dave ramsey and financial peace and some of the principles we use we uh, basically vowed to never be in debt on any car ever again. So that car is paid for. Uh, we pay ourselves a car payment every month and we put that into a savings account that says car replacement fund. And when we get enough money in there, we upgrade cars. And we have driven a lot of cars with a lot of miles on them. And if you look around right now, my Tacoma just rolled over 200,000 miles. Uh, my old Ford out there has 220,000 miles. The truck behind me was used and it has 168,000, 165,000 miles. So we don't mind high mileage vehicles, but we have one car. Usually we keep one car that's nicer, newer, lower miles to take on road trips across the country and things like that. It's starting to rain and I'm going to take these chicks out to the brooder and introduce them to their friend. Uh, Unfortunately, this morning there hadn't been any new chicks hatched. Here's <laughs> Bella and Shelby. Uh, Bella is still limited to, uh, I think she's on three fourths of an acre. So she has to stop back there. And I really, really like it because like here recently there's been coyotes coming up at night and she's not able to get out there to them. And she barks really loud and alerts us if coyotes are out there. And I get up, shine my spotlight and take care of business. So. Let's go in here and get these chicks settled. So we did have one chick hatch and it's right there. You ready for some new friends? Look what I got you. I don't want you to be lonely. Look. There you go. Now you guys be nice. You're a little bit bigger than this one. I don't want you to pick on them. Let me dip your beaks. There you go. Let me dip your beak. Cassie always says dip the beak. Dip the beak. There you guys go. Alright. Now I'm gonna put the brooder back down. Alright. So thankful that uh Atwoods did have some uh, chicks because tractor supply was out. This really isn't chick season. It's kind of hot coming off the summer months and uh, hard to find good chicks. So Easter eggers is a good find because that's what something we would have bought anyway. Yeah. That one up there is talking. She's telling them, hey, this is my house. And I'm going to leave my eggs under there for another day. But 
when I moved the eggs, I still had one hatch, but out of 13 eggs, there were five out there that hatched and then one that hatched in here. So that was about a 50% hatch rate. And I had a couple more pipping, but I don't think they made it. Um, I could have could have done that when I moved them, but they were gonna die out there either way. So at least we got one out of the deal. So I'll bring you guys along for a little bit of the chores until it rains us out. I, I pray it rains us out and I have to put this camera up, but right now it's just kind of misting and nice, cool. You can still see the dust fly when Zena takes a step. Zena, we need rain, don't we, baby? There you go. Ducks. Rowdy. Hang on, buddy. I'll get you some in a second. The lone goat gets his own place to eat. Hang on, let me get that water out of there. Had a little bit of rain. Not much. Back, Zena. Back, baby. Zena. Zena. That's Rowdy's. Zena. That's Rowdy's. You let Rowdy eat. That's not yours, okay? That's Rowdy's. You go eat your dog food. So now we need to check in on my favorite animal for the week at least. Hello, June. Hello, Faith. How's my girls? Oh, we got a little bit of water in there. Okay, okay, okay. You're getting wound up, aren't you, Faith? Hang on, June. I want to clean out your. Let me clean out your water here. Here you go, girls. Somebody's happy. Oh, you guys having a good day in this rain? You enjoying it? We didn't get to work with uh, Faith on leading this morning. We were in a hurry to, we had to take all the kids to school and do all that. So maybe this evening, if I get home before dark, I'll work with her a little bit on halter leading. She's doing good though. Just a little bit at a time. Look at that tail wag. You can't tell me she's not happy. She's a happy girl. Yeah. Okay, I wanna leave now. I'll leave you to eat. I'm gonna try to get the donkeys back in. Cassie really likes having them out in the pasture because they're basically a welcoming committee. When you come uh, back home, they're out there to meet you. But I don't want them to get too much green grass. So if I can get them in, I will. Well, just like I was hoping it would happen, I think we're getting rained out. So that means I'm gonna put the camera up and uh, finish the chores probably from the pickup. Donkeys don't want to come up. I don't blame them. They're out on the grass, so I'll just let them stay out there. They're way out there. And next time I catch them out, I'll put them up for a little bit, but I don't know if you can hear that. Rain on a metal roof. That would put me right to sleep. Shelby. I'm gonna come in and dry off. All right, well, that's it for chores. Uh, I'll try to catch up with you guys later um, when Cassie's back around. I'm gonna go out, finish chores, and try not to get too wet. So this is the next day, which is Tuesday, and our dogs somehow uh, completely destroyed my compost pile last night and are a muddy mess, and I do not want to touch them and don't want to mess with them. But today is egg day, and I'm gonna go out and check on the new chicks, The Easter eggers that we got yesterday. Cassie's gone to school. She drove the, the new van today. I hope she enjoys it. Um, like I said earlier, we've went a lot of years driving a lot of cars that had a lot of miles on them. Never had a new one before, so I hope she enjoys it. And today I'm gonna to actually candle 
the eggs I'm bringing to the food pantry just because I want to be super careful. I know those last few days were kind of hectic when the chickens were fighting over the eggs to hatch out and they were moving them around. I just want to make sure they didn't rub off the pencil that I had marked on them because the last thing I want is giving somebody eggs, whether it's at the pantry or in our living room, cracking it open and there being a chick inside. Okay, I don't think that would ever happen, but I'm gonna go double, triple check just to make sure uh, before I get these eggs ready. So as I'm doing this, it is super easy to tell uh, that there's nothing going on inside these eggs. But if I come through and I find one that is dark i mean look at that that's bright as can be if i find one that's dark even just a little bit then i'll bust it open and let the dogs eat it but so far these are all lighting up just like they should i just don't want to ruin anybody's day <laughs> including my own so i got all the eggs counted up we've got four dozen so that's 48 eggs going to uh, our local food pantry. And I just wanna brag on them. They do such a good job of constantly having lots and lots of food for our community here in Locust Grove. Um, I know there's a lot of volunteers that it takes a lot of their time to do it, but they do an awesome job. Uh, you guys may have seen Mazzy in our last video going to Muskogee, which does have a lot of um, need in that community in general. Well, they uh, have a blessing box at the church outside of her voice lessons. And she has been honest about getting some more food to take to the, that blessing box to stack up. So we'll do that for her. Um, she loves to see people come up and get it uh, as we're coming and going and this and that. So now let's go check on the chickens. She doesn't look so bad now. She cleaned up a little bit. This morning, she's dirty. Now Bella, look how, look at this. Look at all that mud caked up. You better not jump on me. That's my worst fears. <sighs> Being cleaned, ready to go to town and your farm dog jump right on you and you have to go change all your clothes. <laughs> all right, let's check on the chicks. How's the babies? Oh look, that one's still alive. The other ones are all doing good. They've got good food, good water. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits on the eggs. I think it's time I'm gonna go ahead and take those eggs out of here. Uh, it's been three days. The one chick hatched after I moved them and that's been the only one that hatched. So unfortunately, we probably had about a 50% hatch rate. I think there were probably six chicks that hatched out. Uh, the mama just did not let the rest of them live. Very sad, but as Cassie always says, it's farm life, people. Also, let's see, this video is coming out uh, Wednesday morning. There is new merchandise at our store. I'll leave the link down in the description. There's a brand new shirt. It says, it's farm life, people. So if you guys want to go check that out, uh, go ahead. Cassie went live last night that by the time you're watching this and told everybody about it but it has a picture of a cute donkey on it maybe june is that you on that it's farm life people hmm it's not a spotted donkey so it's not faith and you guys are getting dirty too everybody's getting dirty i moved their feeder under the uh shed here to hopefully keep it clean so i'm going to uh, head into town get those eggs delivered and i'll come back and uh, pet on faith and love on her but like i said if you guys are interested in some new merchandise we have a restock on our walker farm fam branded shirts what's that yeah we have a restock on our walker farm fam hats they have this color which is gray and then blue on the back and we also have gray and black on the back and then we also have white on the back i believe uh, there was really limited stock on the richardson 112 that's the kind of hats i like and they're really high quality pretty much the only hat i'll buy um, to put our name on also the shirts um it's kind of a green color gray color if you guys are interested go check them out right now we'll have all sizes from adult uh small medium large extra large 2x 3x and 
4X. So if you guys are interested, I have no clue how long uh, they'll stay in stock. And I'm really kind of scared about how much uh, I'm going to have to go take to the post office. But you guys have asked for it. Cassie's been excited about it. I have been dragging my feet and not as excited about it. But here's the day. Merchandise is there. So now's the time. Go check it out. Uh, as always, we want to um, take just a second to remember somebody in prayer. And today it's my grandpa. Uh, he has been going back and forth. Hospital went to the nursing home. Uh, yesterday he went back to the local city hospital um, and he's doing better now so please keep him in your prayers I would greatly appreciate it I'm gonna try to go down and visit him again very soon um, just as often as I can but we hope you guys have a great day God bless and we'll see you next time <laughs>